Hey Audacious Church, hope you're having a great day whatever time you're choosing to tune into today's devotional app. My name is Will and I attend Manchester Central and in that I have the pleasure of being on our Audacious College programme this year as well as helping out regularly on our youth team. The theme of the devotionals this week is the massive topic of Jesus is and today I'd like to talk about him being our provider. I'd like to start with a Bible verse which is Philippians 4.19. And my God will meet all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. This verse I found in my life is an amazing encouragement and is really useful for when you're needing that big breakthrough in your life. I'd like to explain a bit of my story. At more than one or two times in my life, I've felt like I'm in that big season of lacking. And in the story I'm about to explain to you today, I was in need of a job and I was really lacking a financial income. In the summer of 2022, God was really starting to speak to me about my future and I just kept pushing it back because I was, I was kind of nervous. I was nervous about what God had planned for me. And like every teenager these days, I was thinking the next step after college is obviously going to be university for myself. Um, but God really put on my heart that I should attend Audacious College for a year and give a year of my life to him. Um, and at first I repressed it and I repressed it. But at one time I just thought, if that's God's plan, that's what I must do. So I found out on the Audacious College Taste Session that there was a cost to the course. And in my head, I began to think, if that's the case, I'm going to really need a job. So for a couple of months over summer, I was really, really looking hard for a job. I was really trying to find, I was applying for every job I found on Indeed. And I was looking everywhere, but I wasn't praying at the same time. I was just blindly putting my applications in for jobs that I didn't pray about or didn't really want. Um, and it wasn't until about the end of August, like really close to the deadline, probably middle of August, that I had a complete breakdown. I kind of gave up on the job, um, the job hunt. Um, and it was at this time I rang a mentor friend of mine and I was like, I know I'm really meant to do college this year, but I just don't have a job. I can't afford to do it. It looks like it's not going to happen. But he said to me, have you even prayed? And that really struck something in me. I'd realized that, like I said, I'd just been blindly just going for jobs that I didn't even want, didn't have the knowledge for, and I hadn't been putting prayer into practice. So as you'd imagine, um, the next week I began to really pray and I'd, I'd just say, Lord, if it's your will to do college, for me to do college this year, sorry, that you're going to have to provide a job for me because it's not working me trying to get one on my own. And after probably two, three, four days of prayer and just really going for it in prayer, like I'm talking a lot of prayer, a lot of prayer. Um, I got two job offers in the space of three or four days um, and God just really came through for me. He really came through at a time where I was feeling like I was really lacking, like really lacking in my life. God came through just by the power of prayer. And what I want for us as a church to pick up on is that prayer is not only key for us, but it's also a weapon. It's um, our way of feeling secure in God. It's our way of talking to him. And it's almost like an open line connection. Um, I'd like to talk about a Bible verse, which is Philippians 4, 6. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. So you've got to pray as well as ask. Blindly asking isn't the key. You have to pray as well. Give your request to God is the end of the verse. So my main point is just prayer comes first. You've got to be praying and asking because God knows all our needs, but we need to be talking to him about what we need. And in my case, it was talking about a job and I didn't ask God for so long. I was blindly putting applications in. But as soon as I began to ask God and involve God in the conversation, he provided for me in many miraculous ways, which was of a job and being able to do college at the same time. Um, I just want to say to us, church, we need to put prayer into our lives as a daily practice. It helps keep us central. It helps keep our worries at bay. It just makes sure that we're always lining up ourselves with God and talking to God daily. If there's a need in your life right now, church, whoever you are out there, make sure you're praying as well as blindly asking for it. Because prayer, like I said, is a weapon. It's what we use to talk to God. It's what we use as an open line connection. And it's what helps God hear us and hear our needs. The key to trusting God in our lives is prayer. And if we keep praying, church, we're going to be able to trust God more and God will be able to break through in so many areas of our lives. That's my devotional for today. The simple way is pray 
and God will provide for us. We've got to keep praying and God will meet our needs on his own timing. Hope this helps today, church. Have a great day. God bless.